we are going to talk about um, gang stalking because I'm seeing it happen um, on a kind of not so big of a scale, but I'm seeing it happen in the spiritual com community, its own little version of it, its own little bullying version, um, using the internet to kind of ruin people's reputation, destroy any kind of platform they're standing on. So I'm going to start out talking about um, what it is, what exactly is this term, um, and then we're going to go through some examples that the military use of this. And then I'm going to kind of talk about some of my own personal experiences. Um, I don't really talk about my past a lot because I have come to realize on this journey that I am the creator and that I'm not going to take um I'm not going to take the story that was given to me. I'm going to create and write my own story. Um I'm realizing how powerful I am, how I can change any type of probability to kind of um fit what I need for my highest evolution and um I'm not going to play the victim anymore. So we're going to talk a little bit about how a lot of these people are playing the victim even though these cases are really happening around us because I want to elevate above that. Um, gang stalking. The actual definition is a systematic form of control which seeks to destroy every aspect of the targeted individual's life. Once a target is flagged, a notification is sent out to the community at large and the target is followed around 24-7 by the various communities they are in. Um, we're seeing this happen a lot online and it's funny because the loose term for this um, is electronic harassment. Um, I've personally had this happen to me in my life um, while doing these movements in the spiritual community, but I've also seen it um, on a larger scale happen to me in my own life. And I'm going to kind of talk about that and talk about how the matrix really isn't what it seems anyway and how everything is really orchestrated around us. Um, gang stalking is real. A lot of people I saw, I had to watch like two videos because I wasn't even really sure, um, you know, about the terminology, even though I have a lot of personal experience with many things. Um, and a lot of people will say, um, I guess that this is just schizophrenia. These people are crazy. They're bringing out um, their own mental illnesses they already had. But I'm here to tell you, gang stalking is real. Edward Snowden has released lots of information about program, programs of remote neural monitoring. Um, so, so we're basically on the information age. So at one point in time, this could have been dismissed as kind of a paranoid conspiracy. But the good thing about the information age is now everything's being exposed. There are people in high places that are not okay with how humanity is being treated. They are not okay with laws being broken um, and things like that. Remote neural monitoring is a defense system using satellite relayed laser to measure, image, and transmute. This is a system that attacks people using brain activity data from the targeted individual. It's intended for war. It violates civil rights, it violates civil liberties, it violates basic human rights and wartime laws. And these drills are being taken place, um, most of them on private property as well. These individuals are being targeted in their own harm, homes. Um, they say PSYOP is mastering the human domain. And I always say we're basically living in the middle of a PSYOP operation anyway. This is a fight and control for our minds. Um, we're talking about weapons of mass control. And you're seeing these weapons being implemented all throughout humanity. It's not like, oh, I think just some people are being targeted. All of humanity is really being targeted with these technologies. Um, mind control technology is one of the most common crimes, and it's actually the least vocalized because they have a way of making these people um, look crazy, discrediting them, um, using the legal systems to um, possibly press charges on them, torture them in all type of ways. Um, here's some examples of this technology being used in real time. DARPA has a sonic projector, um, and the Army has something they call voice to skull. The Air Force is using microwaves to create sounds at Brooks Air Force Base. We have the Marine Corps with their Medusa project. We have the State Department working on voices in people's heads. This is according to the Washington Post who reported on this in 2005. Um, we have a few companies as well. One is patented something called Hypersound. America Technologies has um, holosonic research labs and has a similar patent. This is not one small research project. This has been reported on for years, but people are not really realizing or paying attention, much like everything else around us. Um, people act on these voices. During Desert Storm, the Voice of God technology was used in war. Um, this is what they say it's for. This, is called, this was called E-Squad, or Silent Sound Spread Spectrum. 1,500 Iraqi soldiers disassembled their weapons, got on their knees, and surrendered to 150 Marines um, that didn't even have enough slip ties. They used S-Squad to put the voice of Allah in their head. Um, they 
trying to play this off like schizophrenia, but real schizophrenia um, is much different and you can really tell the difference. Um, usually that is diagnosed before the age of 18. Um, and a lot of these people coming forward about gang stalking would be like 30 to 40 year olds. <clears throat> Most of these people are educated people that were once successful and one day started hearing voices being stalked and harassed and their lives started to spiral out of control. And the thing is, schizophrenia responds to medication. Obviously, these victims are not responding to any medications um, because they're still being attacked. They uh, basically watch every aspect of your life, your internet communication. They can watch your thoughts form as you're typing. They can watch your thoughts. Um, and NSA is a service that can actually see what you want to say and change it. Um, it's basically an intrusion onto the way you think. At one point in time, um, I had my entire life pretty much destroyed electronically. I'm very into computers now. Um, and it taught me valuable lessons to get me ready for this mission. So instead of me seeing my past um, as being victimized, I just kind of see it like, these events really moved me on to my mission. They got me ready um, for what I'm trying to fight now. And so a lot of people are still playing the victim and saying the government are targeting them. They're harassing them. They're ruining their lives. Um, I'm here to say that you can take control of this. You can get your mind back. You can kill that voice in your head, which is never yours. And um, it's not just people who are being targeted that are hearing that voice in their head. This technology is being used throughout humanity. And um, most people think that voice in their head is normal now when it's actually not even them. Um, so really it's about taking back power, um, taking back control of your own life. It doesn't matter what is happening to you. Um, if you are being targeted, I believe we all are. Um, you can really take power and control over your life. I'm seeing this happen in the spiritual communities as well, um, where people are targeting each other. They're targeting healers, um, readers, uh, people who are spiritual leaders, and trying to discredit them. I've actually seen fake sexual allegations being made behind people's backs, them messaging all of their friends, and just trying to alienate and get people alone and to make them look bad and to discredit them. Um, so it's actually really common in these truth or spiritual movements. We're seeing it all around us all the time. Um, just be on the lookout. Um, you can kind of tell who these profiles are um, that are targeting people. Any kind of um, fake profiles that were made this year are always really suspect. Like when I'm adding people to the groups, I can always tell um, a lot of these fake accounts. Um, but just be aware that it goes so much deeper than that. The matrix isn't what it seems. Um, so you really planned out your whole life before you came here. If this is happening to you, you agreed to it for um, your own spiritual evolution. So just be aware of that. Nothing happens here that wasn't planned out. So I look at these events like they were just kind of moving me off the course I was already on and onto a different one. Um, so we have a lot going on. The matrix isn't what it seems. Um, this is an earth school and it just goes a lot deeper than that. Um, but these technologies are real. They're being used every day and then being played off like the person is crazy. Um, I have a lot of personal experience. I still really know how to articulate my journey and how I got to where I am. I have a lot of personal experience. Um, it is possible to be all of these things. Love and light.